All right, hi everybody, Jerry the Plater here. Now I'm going to show you just about the very final step of finishing off a copper electroform. Now if you remember, uh, when we had this piece just about a week ago, we were doing gold plating on it. So a week ago, this, this copper electroform looked like beautifully bright, shiny, plated gold. Uh, shiny copper initially when it came out of the electroforming process. Then it went to Green Bank for machining. They set it, sent it back to us with the flanges attached. And they had drilled a hole through the uh, aluminum mandrel that filled the center of the piece. But we've etched that mandrel away now at this point. So we're left with pretty much our finished component right now. Although it doesn't really look like a finished component. While you're doing the etching process, you're forming certain aluminum oxides. Uh, you also form what might be known as smuts, uh, reactions between the etchant, the sodium hydroxide, and other alloys that are in the aluminum. And you end up with a very dirty, nasty, oxidized uh, coating on the copper electroform. Now we actually had to do quite a bit of uh, aggressive etching on this piece. I had a little bit of aluminum that just did not want to etch out. So we spent an extra day or so in hot sodium hydroxide solution took longer than I expected. It might have actually been a little bit of an alloy form between the aluminum and the copper plating which is inside here too uh, when the part was heated up during the soldering operation to put the flanges on. Anyhow, we're going to use a, a fairly concentrated solution of nitric acid now. About 30% nitric acid. And if we get a typical result, we're going to see this uh, dark coating on the piece literally melt away in just a few seconds. And we'll also see the copper plating, the few micro inches of copper, which is uh, on the interior of this part, over the gold which lies underneath that. Uh, we should see that copper go away too. Uh, a clue of the copper being dissolved will be a little bit of a blue tint appearing perhaps on the nitric acid that we're going to use for etching away. So anyhow, let's go ahead and do the etching operation. Uh, etching out the copper that's on the inside and cleaning up the exterior of this gold-plated copper piece. So we're going to go into a little beaker. And we're going to use a fairly concentrated nitric acid to do this etch. Let's put a glove on for this part of the operation. getting some rinse water I'd like to have handy too. Put the rinse water off camera here. Okay, we're coming back with a heavy glove. Like a lot of things we do here in the lab, this is actually pretty low risk. Uh, you do want to wear eye protection. Maybe pull the fume hood down fume hood door down. Okay, now if we get what I expect to get we should be seeing a nice... Okay, now I can see a little bubbling a nice shiny part here very quickly. There we go. Copper etch. Let's uh, can zoom in on that a little bit. Don't know if we saw it in the video or not, but I saw a little bit of bubbling coming out of the interior of the part. Uh, we might be seeing some of that right now. And that would be the copper etching away. Yeah, we can take this out of here now and go back in if we need to. Oh, I see some bubbling action there. Something's happening. Okay, let's go into the rinse water. I can 
try to not uh, destroy our blue background paper. You want me to turn it? No, nah, it's a little hard to turn. Okay. So here we go. There's a very different looking piece than what we had just a few minutes ago. And now we're going to do a little more aggressive rinsing on it with hot water and then inspect the interior, see if we ended up with the uh, the gold finish on the inside that we're expecting. That's the gold that we put on the mandrel weeks ago. So we hope to see a nice gold finish on the inside and we want to make sure we don't have any residual aluminum left on the interior of this part. Alrighty.